in this Gemini T7, we got another front for you guys. And this one here, I'm really, really excited about. And I want to bring this footage to you. And you be the judge of it and see if it sounds good or not. All right? So I'm not doing the front review inside. The reason why the damn box is too damn large for me to do a close-up video. So I'm going to just do it outside. And yes, it involves in the Subaru. So let me just pull it out real quick. There you go. So the package came in. And the reason why it's already open, I checked to make sure it's not damaged, scuffed, scratched, anything like that. Everything looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and install this bad boy. See how it goes. You guys be the judge of it. We're gonna do some road uh, uh, road footage as well. Um, I'm gonna see if I can try to grab my windshield uh, uh, suction cup, slap it in the rear, and get more footage as well for you guys. Okay. So what's in this damn box? What is so excited? What does it sound so good for this Subaru? Box it out, 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 and let me uh, grab this real quick. Bring it out flat. Move the camera over here a little bit. Oh man, I got a low battery, 30% left. It is where it is. All right, guys. We got the exhaust system for the Subaru. It's not resonated. And uh, it's gonna be really nice. So as you can see, this is the left side, passenger side. It has the burn tips already welded on there. Really nice little looking touch. Looking good, looking good. Like how it did the wonderful job. This is a three inch, okay? three inch piping okay so we're gonna be installing these bad boys Whoa. right here grab the other one and here's the other one looking good no scratches and clean okay rear Good three inch piping, okay. And this goes on this side, okay. And what's next? Oh, there they are, I was looking for that. We got the white pipe guys, the white pipe, okay. Good craftsmanship, nice good welding. Awesome, awesome job, okay. Awesome job. So the stock Subaru is about two inches, two and a half inches. I'm getting about two inches for the for the stock exhaust. We're gonna slap these three inch exhausts and see. I'm very, very excited to see how the results are. There. Let's see what else we got in this box. The very last piece. We got a straight pipe. Looking good, looking good. Obviously, these gonna be here V-bands. This right here, watered on. This looks like it's gonna be bought up for a cat. I'm gonna install on the stock cat. Sorry guys, my battery, my GoPro bride. I just put the old battery onto the charger and got me a new battery. This one hot day today. One hot day today. I'm doing this all by myself. Anyhow, <clears throat> last piece. We got the straight pipe here, three inch, as you guys can see. Okay, nice, good welding all the way around. Ain't that right, Mason? Ain't that right, Mason? And over here, <coughs> they already have the brackets right here. This is gonna be on a stock cat. Okay, we'll put this over here real quick. We got four pieces here that we're gonna be installing on the Subaru. Okay, so the car is running on stock cats. I want to change this, the cat to a cop cat, and reason why I'm not doing it now while I'm doing one whole install, because I don't want to avoid the warranty. So Subaru warranties the transmission and the engine at 60,000 miles. After that, you're on your own, pretty much. 
We still got 47, we're on 47, 48 right now. Still got warranty, that's good enough for another year or two. We wanna run it and let her enjoy it and I enjoy it as well for upgrading the exhaust system, okay? <clears throat> I do have plans for this car. I do plan to buy a Cobb J-pipe. I do plan buying a cold air intake. Also the Cobb version three uh, diagnosis and tuning for the Subaru. If you install the cat back, you don't need tune. But if you install the cat, the, the actual cat converter to the change out that stock to do a J pipe to like a Cobb or an ETS or a, or any or, or Novidia, you're gonna have to get a tune. So why do the J pipe and go buy the computer version three of Cobb and tune it? I might well just go ahead and do it all those three one time and two to one time and we'll be done because if i install the jet cat a new cat on this car the cop cat i had to get a tune and i installed the cold air intake i had to get tuned again it's a hassle so i'm just gonna go buy that j-pipe the cold air intake the version 3 cop computer uh, diagnostic system to get it tuned properly put it all together install it one time be done with it get it tuned we're done i don't have to re you know get it tuned every single time it's just a waste of time and it costs more money doing that way so if you install that cat back exhaust from the cat back to the back, you don't need tune, okay? It's fine. As long as you don't mess with the cat, you don't mess with the coated intake, you don't have to get a tune. You can run the exhaust system. It won't hurt it, okay? Subaru is really, really, really finicky. If you mess with the cat converter, if you change the cat, you put a coated intake, you have to get a tune. It's really, really finicky. When we don't want to, I don't want to deal with that. So if I want to tune the car, I want to tune the car one time and get it done. Did this just stop recording? Okay, never mind. Sorry, I thought I stopped recording. Anyhow, the box you see in the air, see in the cat back, and the last goodies. So we got some V bands. We got one, two, three. We got one V band. Two V bands, three V bands. I see a some bolts here, a gasket as well. It's windy out here, and I need that because man, it is so hot out here. Another gasket right here. Okay. Uh, I believe this is stickers, I think. And this looks like a CD. I'm not too sure what this is. I can open it up. Let me see. Hold that. What's in this envelope here? Oh, another gasket. Okay. I'm guessing this goes on the stock cat. Okay. And what else is in the bag? A paper. What's that paper? A piece of piece of paper. So we got stickers. And you're wondering what kind of exhaust this is? ETS. We went with Extreme Turbo Systems. I like the sound note of it. I've, I've heard it, I've seen them. Not very many people use ETS, but there are other states and other cities, other servos have them, I like them. Um, a lot of guys like to run the Video R400. Um, there are also other different brands as well, but I like it. My fiance, she likes the, the ETS system, so we went with the ETS system. So we got two stickers here, and also 2015 Subaru WRX cat back exhaust. And this is what it comes with. This looks like a check system right here. Okay, a check system. What's in the box? Okay, so we got three of the three inch V band clamp, two of the eight millimeter times 60 millimeter hex bolt, uh, 4X 8 millimeter four fender washer, two of the eight millimeter Fuji nut, one of the mid pipe, resonator, none, because I don't want resonator. I want that bitch to be loud. <laughs> one white pipe, one rear section left and right, extreme, not the muffler. As you can see, at the very end of the exhaust of the muffler, there's no muffler there. It's just straight pipe out, so there's no muff there. Uh, Tip option, blue, plush, or black. We went with blue. Uh, stock downpipe adapter. 
one of those is a 2.5 inch metal two bolt adapter that's for the stock down pipe adapter also it came with one of the 2.5 inch graphite two bolt gasket one of the 3.0 vibrant 2.2 uh, bolt gasket as well okay so we're reading it out as you guys can see okay so i'm gonna put this away if i get the stickers so what i'm gonna do is gonna put everything put this right here back in the box i'm gonna go ahead and jack up the rear and crawl underneath there and see what i'm gonna be working with right get you guys in a bit all right guys so we got the car on ramps i put some jack stands on the bottom if you guys can see okay i got my creeper let's crawl underneath there see what we will see what are we are working with all right as you can see this is the stock exhaust okay see how the skinny this pipe is man this is a like two an inch this is a two inch exhaust so we got a hanger here two bolts here the y pipe the two bolts here a hanger here another hanger right there if you guys can see it right about there okay then crawling underneath here man this looks brand new huh okay we got the differential here this is still good so we got a hanger right here as well okay and it runs up this is the heat shield okay we might have to remove that since the pipe is thicker but we will see it's holding on some brackets over here as you can see right about there. there's two of them to hit these off and a bolt right there if we want to remove this heat shield okay moving on coming down here so we got the Subaru stock cat so this is the one that's holding a lot of restriction flow we got two bolts here they are springed as you can see they're springed we're gonna mount on this wait this is the resonator not that cat that's the cat sorry i said it wrong okay so we're gonna be removing this to to release the flow and here is the cat gentlemen right here this is the cat okay so it's the bracket here right here that's holding this part here take this off and it connects to this okay right here this looks like the headers right here yeah that's the headers okay so this is the cat right here the j pipe wait is this no this is the cat i'm sorry guys <sighs> it's just one of those days you know i'm tired from work from running hard last week and uh you know so this is the cat right here man they put the cat right in front of the front of the car okay so this is the cat so we're mounting right here okay from here all the way to the back i believe so correct me if i'm wrong wait this is the j pipe do we go this far We'll find out okay for right now that's the cat runs down to the resonator guys i haven't done an exhaust in a long time last time i did was on my car okay so either this is the cat or that's the cat but i believe these two are part of the cat this here i know for a fact ow my knee my knee this is the resonator okay that is a resonator that's gotta be the cat that has to be so give and take uh so the looks of it i think we're both to here or over there but what we shall see i kind of doubt it i believe we both right here okay so correct me if i'm wrong we're leaving that part alone because we're not chasing the cat we're just chasing exhaust so it looks like we're gonna have to deal with this sucker right here i was hoping to remove this sucker but we'll see
all right so let's start putting, uh let's start unbolting and remove this okay we'll still see how far the pipe will go okay so now i got my 14 mil here oh, we're gonna take this off Man, my strap to my head keeps moving around. Maybe because I'm sweating so much, it's, it's coming up. It's just sliding my camera all over the place. One thing at a time. I haven't done exhaust in so long because so last time I did was in my car. So it's been a minute. Oh, this thing keeps spinning. I want to need another one here to hold this in place. Uh, do I have another socket? Yes, I do. Let me go grab it. Be right back, guys. Oh, all right, guys. So I took the exhaust off and we are in progress. The rubber gaskets that uh, holds up the hangers, those were uh, having a little trouble with. Everything else worked out great. So we have the layout right here. Let me show you guys. All right. So we got the two ends, okay? We got the white pipe to the end. This is the one that was giving me a hustle, but not that one. That one that hangs on the inside. That's the one that gave me a hard time. But this is the exhaust system for your Subaru, your stock OEM Haka, Hakamoto brand. So OEM factory exhaust for the Subaru. Uh, probably just keep it from the storage room. So now we're gonna install these bad boys in, okay? And get to work. So let's get to it. We're now work in progress. So Get back to work catch you guys in a bit all right guys sorry for this interruption i'm just you know i'm trying to cut those kind of music out any music any kind of music out of my video because uh of for a copyright because you two were strict on that it's a huge page a huge pain at pain of butt to deal with when you got copyright music and then you try to do your video for your YouTube. So excuse that. My apologies on that one. So now, make sure this one looks good. Okay, no gaps here. Go down here. Okay, it's gonna, it's gonna fall right in. It's gonna fall right in. Whoops, my bad. These B bands no joke man. They're freaking long. But man, they work well for this kind of applications. They work very, very well. Oh man, my right arm's getting tired again. Woo! Tell you man, this is a workout. Especially on your arms. Side here looks good. 
Whoops, my bad. Come on, GoPro. Stop moving around. All right, that's done. Okay, moving on. All right, and I got to scroll all the way up there to the other boat. What did I do with the other thing? Where's my other thing? Oh, here it is. Just in case I need two of them. All right, let's move all the way up to the front. Here we go. All right, so when you take off your stock exhaust, okay, it's a piece of rubber that goes between here. Make sure you take that off before you throw the sucker on, okay? Just give a little heads up on that. Oh, wait a second. Do I leave that on? Uh-oh. Hold on a second. Ooh. I might have to go get that back and go get it and put it on. Because now we got a gap here. Holy crap. All right. Let me see something. I'll get back to with you guys. All right, hold on. All right, guys. I went back outside, and this is the piece I was talking about. Okay, this goes between here. It's kind of like a polymer, but it's kind of not. I think it's aluminum, okay? But since there's a huge gap there, I'm gonna have to put this back like so, okay? So the V-band in there that I just tightened up, I just re-loosened it, and let's see if we can get this thing, put it back in. Hopefully I can. The other one might fall on my, on my leg, but we'll see, we shall see. That's okay, that's okay. That's gonna, that's gonna do it. Okay, put that there. I'm watching this real quick. Come on now. Work with me. Try to get things done. Put a nut right here where I can fill it and get it. Get the washer out here real quick. Come on now. There it goes. Okay, now I'm gonna pull this bolt back out. Let's see if I can drop this side here only and put that thing on. All right, here it is right here. Oh, you want me to drop it. All right, I'm gonna have to unbolt that V-band crap. All right, it's gonna happen. So I kind of, kind of known that was gonna happen. Oh wait, can I do it? Oh yeah, never mind. All right, gotta watch my eyes. Okay, put that on my tummy. Grab that compound again. Come on. Here we go. It goes on like this. See, hit that. And now, here's the gasket. This is for the OEM stock. Hold on one second. All right, sorry guys. The truck just out on the street making that music like i said i'm sorry and i'm gonna get copyrighted so i have to stop the video now i'm down here taking the v-band off i'm gonna have to take it off which i don't want to i'm gonna have to in order to install that that piece back in there again so it's cool you know all right this is gonna pop i know it is there we go Leave that there for right now. Crawl this side here. Put this long piece on me again, like before. Oops, my bad.
Let me scoot over this side a little bit. There we go. All right, see? As you can see, see that piece of here I was talking about? This goes right here. And I gotta, I don't have to put it back. The reason why I took it off, I thought this would go over it, which it did, but it's not getting a full seal for the exhaust. So we're gonna have an exhaust leak. So in order to fix that problem, we gotta put this back. So put it back where it was. I'm gonna work on this side first. Just let it hang on the bolt. I'm not gonna tie it down. Come on, creeper, work with me now. There we go. I'm gonna adjust my camera just a little bit. All right. Now, where's that gasket? Okay. Put this back on. Give me one of the bolt. Okay, where's the other bolt? Okay, now use my leg to push at the end of the other pipe to line up the holes and and there goes that gap I was telling you about. That's the reason why I took that out in the first place. That's okay, I'll grab your ass later. All right, now I got my leg holding the other end of the pipe. We'll put these suckers in again. Come on, GoPro. Don't do that. Okay, where's the other? Oh, shoot, I forgot the washer. Great. Gotta have a washer in there. Put the washer back on. And then put this on, and let it hold it. Okay. I found this nut. Now where's the other washer go? I know I had it. Oh, don't tell me I lost that washer. Oh, there it is right there. All right, cool. Okay. Come on, GoPro, stop moving around, god damn it. Try to get the footage. Alright. Alright, now this is back on. I'm gonna tie this sucker down. So I gotta put this piece back. Oh well, my fault. Alright, now let's go do the V-bed first. Be bang go. All right, back to over here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the V band back. There you go. Line up a little bit. do with that nut. Okay. There's a gap over here. Gotta try to fix that. I'm gonna put this nut right here real quick. So whoops. Oh, dog, I, I dropped that nut. There we go. Alright. 
Come on, GoPro. This this head head strap on my head is not always. I mean, you can hold it up when you're walking or jogging, but shit, when you're working underneath the car, I guess not. Not that very great. Okay. All right. I see a little gap. Let's see if it tightens up. Still see the gap. Hope this V band do his job and line them up. I can see a little gap right there. Yeah, it's closing in. Let the V band do his job. Guys, I'm gonna cut this video right here real quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Man, that's good work. All right, guys. The exhaust, the ET, the extreme turbo system, the ETS exhaust system is on the car now. As you can see, looks real, real good. Hell of a sexy. Man, that is some nice, nice exhaust on this car. No joke. That is really nice. Now, <clears throat> I didn't tight down everything. I just set everything up. Everything is holding up in place in the air, in the brackets of the V-bands and the, the bolts that was on to the cat. So what I'm gonna do now, I wanna take you guys underneath with me. Adjust everything where it needs to be adjusted before I start tying things down. After that, we're gonna do a test, start up the car and go back down there under again, check for any leaks. And then from there, we go from there, all right? Let's get down there. <clears throat> all right, guys, let's go down underneath. Let's see what we got. Okay, so as you can see, everything looks good, lines up pretty good. Now we've got a big fat hole here, which is good because now we have weight reduction. So it makes the car lighter and everything looks good. Okay, so I got the V-band here, another V-band right here, another V-band right here. And then down there, I'll hook up the bolts up there to the back as well to, to the cat, cat J-pipe. Okay, so just making sure everything is good. Okay, that's the sturdy. Adjust need what needs to be adjusted. Okay. It looks good in here. And we start cranking things down on my end. So it looks good. I don't see no huge gaps. Everything is holding a place in the V-band. Okay. Make sure it's stayed in. Now we gotta crank on it. Ooh, this is good work. Good workout on this one too. No joke. Double check real quick. Everything looks good in place. Yep, it looks good. All right. Man, my hair, my, I think my hair is, my hair is like underneath the pad of where I hold, where I wear my headband. And I think it's moving it. Plus I'm sweating again. It is hot today. So excuse 
the movement of the GoPro. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. But I tell you what, this system here, man, it is on point. Everything exactly measurement on point. No joke on that, okay? It is on point. Measurement is exactly on. This system here, I highly recommend it. A direct bolt on, okay? With no uh, modifications ever needed. Just hook it up, you know, common sense, hook the v fans to the joints, and you're good. Okay. Oh man, my arms are aching. I haven't hold, I haven't been in this position doing these in a, quite a long time since I did on my Z. Now I'm doing it on the Subaru. <sighs> Come on, my hands getting tired. Getting tighter. Oh yeah, I'm looking good. Looking hella good. Good, sealed in. Looking good. Okay, now the other side. Make sure everything's looking good. No gaps. Inside here looks good. This looks good. This looks good. That looks good. All right. It starts bolting it down. You know, when you install exhaust, just be patient, you know what I mean? Do it, do it right the first time, you know what I mean? That's all it is, just common sense when you're installing it. Look what you're doing, pay attention. Everything will lined up and be patient, it'll work out just fine. Oh man, my already arms get tired. The left hand, And I'm gonna lie to you, ETS, their exhaust systems, they hardly ever ever have them in stock. They make they make the exhaust system if you order it. If you don't have if you if you if you probably get one, expect the wait, okay? It could take between you know 14 weeks, you know, three months, you know. So be prepared, okay, because they don't ever have these in stock. They make them as they get orders in. So I will add the link to the bottom of the video for this exhaust system. If you're interested in getting this exhaust system for your Subaru or other cars, if they have them listed for the specification for that car, like if you're driving a BRZ or FRS or something like that and you want an ET ETS exhaust, see if they have it for that model for that car but i believe they do <sighs> okay looking good okay I didn't take the other one all the way yet, but I went to this side to bolt it up real quick to make sure. Uh, 
Okay, now go back to this side. It doesn't have to be super hard. Just enough, you know what I mean? street it's gonna ruin my copyright hold on one second all right guys we're back okay so i just finished tying and putting that piece back on the cat back and put the molding back and uh realigned it and um put the v-band back on the other end now everything is set i'm gonna start it up go back down there and check for any exhaust leaks if not we're good we're done for now so let me do a start on this car and you guys can just go ahead and see that exhaust sound it yourself. Let's get to it. Okay, so I'll put the camera right here. I'm gonna drop it down a little bit for you guys. There you go. There we go. Let's go. Let's do this. chase that that j pipe to cob it still be cat it still have a cat in it but it won't have a regulator a resonator on it this exhaust system will be even even more loud like crazy loud but right now sounds good to me all right let me go ahead and go on the bottom and check for air uh exhaust leaks and uh finally then exhaust leaks tighten them all up fix it and get back to you guys in a bit all right
right guys we're back so i already go ahead and and uh, clean everything away everything looks good so here it is guys and the ets exhaust system is really really looking good so i'm gonna go ahead and start the engine for you guys let me actually lower this okay there we go Start. Right now, since we already did a cold start, it's pretty tame, but the drop, the the exhaust note is is deep. You know what I mean? It's really, really deep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rev it at three. I'm gonna rev it at, at uh, five. And maybe I try to rev it at seven or eight. So I rev it at 3000k, I rev it at 5000k, and I rev it at 7000 RPMs at the red line. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mount my GoPro over here in the back. I'm gonna drive around a few blocks, some of that. That way you guys get the idea of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that, that done. And uh, let me go grab my mount. All right guys, so we're already set. I right, go ahead and got the mount for it. So I'm gonna put the mount right here. Okay, as you guys can see so we have it directly to the exhaust system so when we're going to record it i want to hit the go button and get in my car and go we didn't go from there all right so let you guys let you guys get the good got, got, uh, get the good exhaust note on this ets system right catch you guys in a bit
all right guys we're back so i hope you see you guys do the draft test on the exhaust note hope you guys like the video please give me a thumbs like subscribe share comment you have any, any questions anyway i will add the link to the very bottom of the video where you can get this exhaust system for your subaru without you guys i will not continue making these videos thank you for your support thank you for your love there's more content on the way and there is more things that i'm gonna do to this car alone be patient on those i'm very busy you know running my own business and taking care of the family and so forth and so forth so be patient guys so till then that's all i have right now peace i'm out